Hey everybody, welcome back, and uh, today we're going to jump into the third tutorial called Make It Work. So, just at a glance, it looks like this is based on debts, black market, something of the sort. We'll send the tutorial anyway. Um, I will just make this a single video because I think the last video was about 30 minutes long, and I think that's a bit too long for a tutorial. You know, generally it was a lot of reading and listening, so in terms of general attention spans, 30 minutes might be a bit too long. So, here you are, New Amsterdam. There are a few things you need to know about Reclamation Industries before you can help us find the Scavenger HQ. First off, we don't use stainless steel as a building material. It's good for stuff that's over-engineered, but our lower safety standards allow us to use carbon compounds as a primary building material. Carbon is found in and around impact craters. We can extract it rapidly and convert it to a wide range of construction supplies. People question using construction materials that haven't been fuel tested yet. People should really mind their own businesses. We, should, we also use aluminium and glass to build our structures. Time to learn how to identify a good spot to set up shop. The most important choice we're going to make is one of the first ones required, where to set up the scavenger HQ. And or HQs in general. We know the locations of mineral deposits surrounding the nearby colony, but we need to perform deep scans to verify the types of those minerals. Yep. Basic scouting and recon. Click an area nearby to perform a magnetic re resonance scan. These little orange pillars, I guess is what we'll call them, is where we want to know is where we know resources are, but we don't know much more than that. We're expecting you to spot a few good locations before you decide where we found. Where we found, okay, no, that doesn't make sense. Now, uh, don't let us down, I will not. Okay, so we want to look towards the iron, because that's, actually for us, it's not as an important of a resource because we don't use steel. Uh, so here's an interesting spot. It's tricky because the construction resources aren't strong and the closest water isn't great. But silicon is always useful for both glass and electronic production, and having a geothermal so close makes this location very tempting. Keep in mind that our start here would be slow off the get-go. So we will want to look definitely towards the carbon, because that will be our main resource. That's a hell of a lot of carbon and aluminium. This would give us a fast start and will allow us and will and, ugh, sorry there, and would allow us a quick upgrade with plenty of core construction materials. I wish there was a better supply of water nearby. Life support matters. Some of us even bought our families on this venture. So, okay, so fast upgrades it says because lots of carbon. Um, guess we'll just keep scanning. Nothing there. Nothing there. I'll look towards this aluminium here. No, nope, there's nothing there. Okay, balance. This is a solid spot to found the Scavenger HQ. It provides the construction supplies critical for upgrades, along with pl plenty of wood to support the life supply needs of our crew. I like this kind of place. Our luck seems to be running high at the moment. You're making me long no longer regret letting you tag along. Since it seems you're so charmed, why don't you make the call on where to find the Scavenger ha HQ? When we, when we found, any resources under the Scavenger HQ get stripped mined. It's a good burst of resources, but we can't access them later. Can't access them as a supply later. You can always spend time carefully weighing the strengths of every hard call, but there comes a time where you need to trust your instincts. That's worked out so well for us in the start. So, yeah, and we've got these three options. So, diverse resources. I don't think will be as good because you will need more buildings here because of the the lower tiles here. So you need more buildings to make up the amount of resources, let's say, having this three water tile here. For example, I know for a fact that this three water tile would give us two water as opposed to just one of these giving us one. That's something to consider there. I think the best way is probably just go balanced. I mean, hmm. yeah, let's let's go balance. I think balance is a fine way to go. We've taken a huge chance moving out here. Some of us didn't have much to lose in the first place. 
I wasn't satisfied working hard for, an, for another to profit. Grant couldn't afford his home payment and now he's got a five year plan. Different backgrounds, same goals. Some of our crew are even recently paroled. The one thing we all have in common is hope. Just because some of us have debts to repay doesn't give you the right to look down on me. No one lives a life without a few regrets. I'm willing to come to a full account for my shortcomings. Be careful about the conclusions you're willing to jump to. Enough of the lecture. Our ship just landed and there's work to be done. So they do have like a lot of this emotional connection stuff in the tutorial, which I think is a bit pointless. Um, but eh, it's fine. It's no harm. It's just a bit of extra reading. Um, not worth it. Point five. 0.21. I think it's worth getting the extra aluminium there as opposed to the cost of fuel. With that, we will put it on fast as per usual. Our metal mine and what about Okay, so we will complete all the objectives there. And it's almost done. Now, I will try and do a bit better to explain my thought processes as I do this. It won't be as significant in the tutorial because everything is sort of a set path, but within the actual games, it could probably help me as well to sort of think out loud and maybe, you know, give two thoughts to what I'm doing. Um, I love reclamation industries. While others mine iron and have to refine it for steel, we build straight from carbon. It reminds me of a contract Henry Ford made with a machine shop. There were strict guidelines for how to package and ship the engines they built, down to the type of wood used. After the engine was delivered, the crates were pulled apart and used as floorboards. Every angle was key to the design. Because of our reputation, the Scavenger HQ isn't just our business centre, it's also the primary residency for our workers. None of us expect easy living, but we do require our daily square, a hot shower and clean air. Get our life support needs in order before we take the next step. So, yes, we need to upgrade. We'll build another water pump and we'll build it there for the adjacency bonus. Put an electrolysis reactor and a greenhouse farm. We'll cover all the objectives. I think next will probably ask us to build power. <coughs> That's a finish. A fine start to this endeavor. We've got reliable production of most of our construction supplies and we won't need to be buying life support from the colony. We're in this together, out here that's all we can rely on. Very deep and meaningful. I am excited to be nearby your location for this business venture. So many new things are happening each day. Competition brings out the best in us. I'm expecting a package soon. Please let me know if, if by accident it is received by you. I wonder what package he's gonna get. Looks like we've got some competition for New Amsterdam's business. Fresh from Mishimi, the latest in human replacement technology. Trusted helpers ever working till the end. More like helping the rich take even more. Damn, robots. Just snag that while we had the chance. Now competition has a shiny energy source and we're left high and dry. And it won't stop here. This whole endeavor is one big competition. We're fighting over the land, resources, and most importantly, the colony's business. To win this competition, we'll need to outsmart, outproduce and outsell them. A good indicator of our value is our stock price. It will always appear next to your name. Let's begin by producing some wind turbines so our energy costs don't become their profits. Here is a good enough spot. This is a great chance to make some ex extra cash with our surplus energy production. We could invest in more energy producers, but when the energy crisis is over, we would be left with some useless land claims. If those bots hadn't snatched that geothermal source, we would be the only energy suppliers in town. This is one of those times where being an undesirable is desirable. Our business is on the straight and narrow, but there are plenty of felt folk I really struggle with this word, plenty of people scraping by, involved in activities that are less than legit. Many of our workers have suffered under the thumb of big businesses. Many of these independents prefer working with us. Call me... <sighs> I'm not gonna bother. I'll, I'll call him R for uh, ease's sake. Call me R. I represent a group of independent contractors operating wherever works to be had on this frozen wasteland. Frozen? 
I mean, that looks like a lot of desert to me, but anyway. We're called the black market regulators by locals. If you're serious about surviving out here, you will refer to us as friend. Or are. We'll provide exceptional services at competitive prices. When you find it hard to compete with business as usual, we can provide more interesting op options. We deplore organized crime of any type, which is why we are so proactive in damaging the interests of these so-called honest endeavors. There's, no there's nothing so organized or so criminal in, ex in its nature than what is commonly regarded as a corporation. We will show you the services and tools you will need to quickly remove that smug smile from the self-satisfied elites you are at loggerheads with. Ours a good man to have a friendship with. We're going to hire some of his associate associates to enact a mutiny on that geothermal plant the robots seem so proud of. There's more money to be had on that energy market, and we don't need a sh and we don't need to share it. Our lives and futures are on the line here. Most of us families. Most of us have families looking to come off world with us. Fighting over scraps here is an improvement over their lives on earth. If it's a choice between me and mine and some job stealing corporate algorithms, you best believe it's not even a choice. If it makes it any easier, think of it like buying sugar from a neighbor. They'll get it back soon enough. Soon enough. So there's a lot of that is just sort of not necessarily tutorial stuff, but it's just sort of exposition I suppose and I don't feel it that it's that useful. Anyway, it's just my two cents. That geothermal plant is redirecting its power over oh, sorry, I'm getting really caught up in words here. That geothermal plant is redirecting its power our way for a while. Time to enjoy the fruits of someone else's labor for a change. Let's let's expand the scavenger HQ so we have the land claims. With those claims I suggest we push into the glass and electronics production. We need glass to continue upgrading the scavenger HQ at a reasonable price. Electronics are a great short term move. The robotics factories from Yoshimi need electronics to upgrade and the consumption will help move the price upward. They're also used to build some advanced buildings. There's one in particular that will really pique your interest. I want to upgrade. Build another wind turbine. An elemental quarry on silicon. I guess we'll just do that one. An electronics factory, which we would now be able to produce because we have all the resources. And this, I, I guess we'll slide them in there, I guess. Do you retain, retain a memory of this geothermal plant? Recalling its story brings up complex connections within. You do not understand our relationship to energy. We have carefully constructed an example. This is called a teachable time segment. E indeed. Human consumption equals food. Observe green factories of water consumption. EMP discharge will make these inoperable. Hunger and emptiness. Leave neighbor alone now. I can't believe the nerve of them. Our people need that food to stay productive and they know that. If they want to play hardball, we will certainly accommodate them. We're going to use our electronic production to build a hacker array. This will be a most useful addition to our business. The hacker array inter intercepts intraspace communications and adds a little something extra. Instead of food supplies are en route for delivery, no imminent delays present. The message received by the colony becomes no food supplies, imminent delays present. The effect on prices is almost immediate and provides us with a huge edge. Uh, upgrade again. Hacker HQ. I guess we will just slot it in just there and use a goon squad. A hacker row. Glad to see the mutiny was to your satisfaction. Seems like you're getting good advice from Sam as well. Anytime you build something worth having, it pays to invest in some protection. My goon squad will ensure the safety and security of any location you are concerned about. Protection is not the only is not their only function. If a competitor is foolish enough to target a protected site, my team will capture and reverse engineer a response for use at your leisure. We'll go place that on the hacker way. Oh my, it looks like they're trying to take advantage of the attack they launched on our farms. Not as innocent and helpless as advertised, but what is? Seems they haven't decided to begin construction on, ele on electronics yet. 
This is the time to make our move. We should double down on our electronics production and use the hacker way to short the supply, which will drive prices sky high. Sounds like capitalism. Yeah, at least they're self aware. Uh, hacker way. Electronic shortage. Give the hackers time to get their job done and to spread some misinformation on the wire. Get a few more electronics factories online and make sure that our last support needs is taken care of. But we're in great shape while blowing that geothermal. But now that things are back to normal, we're running a bit low. Uh, two electronics factories. There. I'm still sore about that malicious attack on our farms. This dynamite could be used to teach those heartless machines a lesson in cause and effect. Don't worry about how much cash we have on hand. Auctions are paid by taking on a loan, which will increase our debt. Click on that bid button to waste the sex and let those robots know we mean business. Lovely bet. Are we supposed to win it? Um, maybe? I mean, sure, I guess. Just keep bidding. <laughs> Let's get bitten. Yeah, sure. Let's get this dynamite. Let's take on some debt. The dynamite, the dynamite is good, but it's not worth that much. They must be pretty desperate for revenge to pay through the nose for that. I'm not saying we dropped it on them at that price, but I think we ended up with the better bargain. Now, plus our little insurance policy on the hacker way makes me smile. I did want that dynamite? Get some debt. And turbine is building. Yep. Everything should come together at the same time. Very nice. Hello again. Our attention is once again diverted to behavior which is unbecoming of a neighbor. You have built the array of lies. <laughs> I love that name for it. A demonstration is prepared to hasten your retirement. Instead of deception, let me share the concept of destruction. Trying to break out. As hard as they might, they just can't keep up with us. Almost makes me feel bad for what we're about to do. Looks like we've got some free dynamite and a nice little target. Time to have a little fun. For the record, that uh, the sound that's made for the for when your goon squad captures like someone else trying to use a black marker tool on you, unbelievably satisfying. Use the dynamite on our opponent. Um, got electrics. Let's bomb that. There's a concept, kindness. I wish that word was ex expressed better by you, our neighbor. This loss of our electronics factory brings me hap brings me no happiness. It is with certainty that you are now labeled rival. We are only delayed. A repair is shortly forthcoming. Our relationship is beyond repair. Goodbye. There you are. Gotta love the powerful statement some high-powered explosions can make. Making friends is a fine thing, but in this business, you don't have a choice but to make some enemies. I hope you enjoyed trashing some automated butt. So many new friends. Expunge your record. Oh gosh. Anyway, that was that uh, tutorial. Make it work. Um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you must. But for now, that's all.